Welcome back. We're talking with Massachusetts Democratic Party Chairman Gus Bickford. Gus, last year the party drew up its platform, and among the positions it takes are a ban on seating any duly elected official who even, quote, enabled the insurrection attempt on the U.S. Capitol uh, January 6th. Is there anyone in Massachusetts that you're aware of who falls into that category and what's being done about it? Uh, I think that I don't know that. I, and so your specific question? No, I don't know of anyone that fits that very specific category. There are people that, you know, uh, basically um, get on the line when you read some of their comments or what they may or may not have done. But really, what's being done about it? We're actually winning local elections. And we have had a significant pushback and we put it tremendous amount of highlight, highlight on their activities. And so you're seeing that we've been successful um, helping candidates for school committee uh, fight back. Could you see the party actually taking steps to unseat an elected official who, who won their election? I mean, is, isn't that sort of mimicking the behavior yeah. you're denouncing? As, as, as chair, you will see me work very hard to win elections, which we have done since okay. I've been chair. Okay, I get it. Um, another line from the platform. <laughs> it calls on the party, uh, it, it calls for a clear, explicit, and unambiguous condemnation of anti-Semitism in whatever form and whatever source. Does that include the anti-Israel boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement, which many Jews perceive as anti-Semitic? I think that's interpret. I mean, the answer is, uh, it's it, it is a significant issue as to which people would need to interpret. So I'd need to see it, you know, on a specific basis. And you know, I believe very strongly that you know we can't allow any anti anti-Semitic behavior happen. Um, but I do, you know, know that it's frankly at a level that there are certain things that I'm not aware of how they affect or. Or where they are, so well, I, I would leave it to different people. Well, you probably saw the Globe article a while back documenting yeah. uh, cases on college campuses right. where pro-Israel students are uh, right. harassed and so forth. Yeah. Uh, so then we get into the issue of what, how is it, you know, how is it going to affect the students? So you know, it's what we do as a party, and so that would be what the college campuses are doing. But you know, it's important for us basically to shine light on this issue so that people understand we shouldn't be allowing it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, one more sure. from the platform. Uh, it calls for preventing charter schools from taking away funding from traditional public schools. Uh, that's sort of classic anti-charter rhetoric. Is, is the Mass Democratic Party anti-charter? No, we're not anti-charter. We're making sure that charter schools are being used as they were intended, uh, which was basically as um, test cases, as places where we can try new things so that education can get better, but not as a replacement for public schools. Um, what goes through your mind when you watch the Massachusetts Republican Party. You saw their convention a couple of weeks ago. You hear their rhetoric. I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean that. I so would like many of my friends who are Republican to take back the Republican Party. This is not the Republican Party of Massachusetts. And, uh, you know, it's a disservice, frankly, to the state to have what I believe is uh, a group of people that are just following a, a corrupt former president and whatever they say and it doesn't their facts don't matter and um, we need to get back to facts we need to get back to good debate we need to get back to you know having a two-party system and uh, this republican party uh, is not going to allow that to happen i mean look i know i probably look too young to remember this but i do remember the 1980s when uh, the Republican Party here was in disarray, Democrats dominated, and the Democratic Party, quite frankly, became complacent, arrogant, and uh, ultimately suffered at the polls. Are you concerned the same thing might happen here and now? No, not now. I think that Donald Trump has completely changed uh, anybody's ability to think that it can't happen here, it can't happen now. It happened, and we were right on the precipice January 6th, we will never forget, and I think that, um, you know, there is more energy out there right now. We are going to have a Democratic woman governor in November, 
and it's going to be a good thing for Massachusetts. Uh, Gus, I appreciate it. Good luck. And uh, if I can get Jim Lyons over here, how about a little mini debate down, down the stretch here? I would love to. Okay. Thank good you. to see you. Thank you.